Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, first of all, the touchline ban. You were asked last week um, what you thought about the prospect of a ban, and you, you said why. And you didn't think it would be fair, and you didn't think it would happen. So, so what's your initial response to, to getting a two-match touchline? No, I am a little bit in shock because I think it's, it's, it's completely unfair. But what I can do now? Nothing. Only to accept that. Um, I need to see the reason because still they announce that I'm going to be banned uh, for two games, but we don't know still the reason because the letter is still not arrived. And I, yes, I am suspended with two games, uh, banned for to be on the on the touch line, touch line, but I don't know the reason yet. I know very well that my in my mind wasn't the the the, the idea about to, to appeal because in my mind was uh, uh, wasn't a big deal and of course that uh, wasn't the best way to to complain or to talk with the referee but I never expect this type of of uh, um, Situation that for me is not is not fair. But now I need to think. I need to I need to see the reason why, and then we'll see what happens. But those reasons will most likely arrive with you after you have served at least the first match of those, those of, of the two match ban. Sorry. The so you're waiting to hear to hear the reasons to see whether would you then once you've seen the reasons would you then consider appealing against the punishment? But you might well have already served. No, I, I, you know, I think it's, um, we are waiting after Wednesday the letter for from from the FAA, but it's still not arrive. And I think it's, I am so curious to to see <laughs> why they decide to 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 to, to do what uh, they do. Uh, two game uh, ban uh, for me is is is, is complete unfair. And of course, I want to see why. I want to see why and then uh, talk a little bit more. But, you know, after uh, that is my seventh season on on England. You can see how was my behave from the day one, uh, talking in public and in private, of course. Um, and always I was a, a coach, a manager, a person that wanted to help. Uh, of course, the Premier League, the FA, I um, know um, was was a person that tried to emphasize, understand, and try to behave in in my best to trying to help the referees, to trying to help uh, uh, football. Um, I think always was very implicated in everything to to try to to improve our game. And I think, uh, of course, that is my first time that um, here that maybe I am not complete right in my behavior, but I feel a little bit that is too much, you know, it's too much. And um, yes, I feel a little bit sad and disappointed with with, uh, with the um, sanction, the, the punishment, mm -hmm. the punishment, and and of course um, I need to I need to wait and see what. Uh, they put on the letter and and the reason uh, to to ban me f with two games. That is, is unbelievable. No? Can I ask about um, Deli Ali? We know he's back in training this week. Does that mean that he's in contention, perhaps to play a part? In yes, that is a very good news. That is going to be available. Uh, we need to wait tomorrow the the last training session, but um, in the all aspect they are doing so well and. And I hope that is going to be available and and maybe can play uh, Saturday. And, and Winks and Trippier being, being, being assessed, does that mean assessed with Winks have the chance of playing at the weekend? Yes, I think Trip, no. Uh, he suffered a an, an small problem and, and I think Trip is going to be out. And tomorrow we need to assess uh, Harry Winks again. That uh, is a similar situation that was before to, to Dortmund that we were checking and assessing him. Um, stadium situation, Karen. I just wanted to ask you about the stadium. There are only a few matches, home matches left. 
between now and the end of the season. To avoid us continually asking the question of when you're going to move in, would it be easier just to say, we won't move in this season, let's have a big showpiece event to open the stadium in the summer and we'll kick off fresh for, for next season and just see how the season at Wembley? I think it's uh, why. Why? If we are going to be, if the stadium is going to be ready, I think uh, I don't think nothing negative. For me, it's all positive to move quick and and play the last uh, few games there. Of course, that is a position that some people can uh, can think and and can say, okay, we wait until next season. But for me, always we were talking. And always our our, our um, um, idea always was in the moment that the stadium um, be ready, we we need to move. But there, we are thinking nearly in the whole season. We start to think in September, the, the last year, and always you know was update, 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 and we say okay next month, next month, next month, and then we arrive on March. And we are waiting, but uh, the idea is, is a similar idea than from the beginning of the season. That in the moment that was that should be ready, we we need to move. And why change now the idea? No. You hope still hopeful for the, for the Champions League next round of Champions League will be home. Yeah, I hope yes. Hope uh, should be ready. It should be fantastic to play Champions League there in our new stadium. I think it's going to be a massive boost for for us because. Um, all the fans and, and, of course, the player staff are so exciting to, to move there and start to fill our new stadium. And it's going to be one positive after eight, nine months that the people is going to talk. Because, you know, after the qualification to quarter final, again, a team that was on the top of the league, that uh, until us didn't concede one goal in his stadium, uh, in the stadium, do you know we are we start our press conference after nearly one day and a half, and we didn't talk about the <laughs> yes the qualification on Champions League that is nearly historic, and that is you know that is no 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 but I am not upset I am not uh, I am uh, I am happy eh? but only to see you and to show everyone that we is a lot of subject to talk important. Before that, the reality is that we are in the quarterfinal on the on the Champions League. When maybe in another side is a is a big party, still in a party because uh, are qualify in the same position than us. But we have a lot of negative things to show, rather to be focused in our positive, uh, in our positive, and that is is massive, um, and that is why um, the credit that that club. This group of players and staff deserve, and is I think all the prize that we can get from here to the end never is going to be enough. The same with the job that Ralph Hassan Hooper has done. I presume you want them to stay up, but oh, you still need to. No, of course. My wish and my hope is is for Southampton uh, finish in a very good way. Of course, he's doing a very good job. Southampton have a very good player, very good squad, and of course that you. Of course, that is a lot of people that were disappointed when I left the club, and of course, they are not go going to forgive and forgive me, forgive. forgive me. But I still love them. <laughs> it's a lot of people that feel that love from them. I love Southampton. For me, is. In one year and a half that he spent there is for me I can I can tell you was a great experience. I enjoy a lot for different circumstances that is difficult to explain and the people to understand. I left the club and uh, I cry a lot when I I left my family too. I think it was one of the most important period in my life with my family that I enjoy the most. That is why it was so tough. Of course, that the people can criticize, yes, yeah, but why you left? Why you this? Uh, for the different circumstances, you change in your life and, and you need to move and you need to, uh, to be aware of some situation. But, you know, I cannot explain, but I still love and, and I hope 
Of course, I want to beat them uh, Saturday, but I wish all the all the best uh, to them. Yes, it's going to happen. Barcelona. Yes. Yeah. I can confirm? Done it. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes, we are going to, after Southampton, we are going <laughs> Now, because it's the last question, <laughs> I don't know if I can. It's, it's right, the, uh, the question in my answer is going to... It sounds right, yeah. Yes. Um, yes, we are going to, after Saturday, we are going to, to be in Barcelona for a few days. Um, I think we need a break altogether. Um, Hope, good weather, and uh, we didn't have the chance before. Uh, many many clubs, I think, they can make uh, three or two or three breaks like this and, and spend time together in different in different countries, different places. I think Barcelona is one hour and a half. We know very well we are going to to be in a very nice place training in uh, in, a, in the Stadium Olympic in Montjuic. That is a, is a beautiful place to work, um, and of course, uh, Barcelona is a town that provides the best thing in between uh, be all together, easy to manage, um, and of course, provide the, the very good uh, place to, to work with the, with the team. I hope now the generality of the government of Catalonia um, send some present because the publicity is amazing. Eh? Okay, guys, the tourism of uh, Catalonia is going to need to do something, no? Very good. Thank you. Thank you.